In 1975, Professor Carla Burri, director of the Italian Cultural Institute in Cairo, launched an appeal for the rescue of the Samakana Mevlevi, a unique example built in Egypt by the Konya dervishes. The building is the central element of the convent, or Takiya of the dervishes in Cairo. The restoration of the architectural ensemble would have allowed its rehabilitation as a cultural center, conceptually recovering the educational role of the mystical poet Galal ad-Din Rumi, whose philosophy the Mevlevi follow. Italy thus participated in the conservation of historic Cairo, which was declared World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. In the absence of adequate funding for the project, the preliminary study of the monument was entrusted to Professor Giuseppe Fanfoni, who organized hands-on experiences in the area, which were complementary to the restoration course he held at the University of Cairo. The artisan personnel of Egyptian antiquities, assigned by the now former director Professor Abdel Tawab, and some students from the Cairo and Helwan universities, participated in the first study activities and the first protective interventions on the dome of the Samakana. In 1984, the Department for Development Corporation of the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs supplied equipment for the site school and machinery for craft workshops through the Oriental School of the University of Rome, La Sapienza. It was, therefore, possible with the availability of the premises of the convent to organize the first worksite school of archaeology and restoration in Egypt with offices, study and design rooms, scientific research and training. In 1988, after the restoration of the Samakana was completed, Ambassador Giovanni Migliolo signed an executive protocol between the Italian and Egyptian governments to ensure the continuity of the works site school in the Mevlevi area granted by Egypt, known as Italian Egyptian Center for Restoration and Archaeology, Sierra. Following the protocol, the Sierra, despite not having received the assigned funding, continued its commitment thanks to the volunteer work of the Italian experts who had joined the association back in 1984. Some programs, which were sectorially agreed upon with Egyptian and Italian institutions, have made it possible to spread the experience of the restoration of the Samakana and activate conservation courses in various Egyptian universities in Cairo, Helwan, Kena, Alexandria, Tanta, and Kafr el Sheikh. In 1998, the Sierra was recognized by the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs as a pilot project for archaeological research. The activities were accompanied by a training program promoted by the Italian Embassy and the Egyptian International Corporation for the University of Tanta. The archaeological excavation of the Sunkur Saadi Madrasa and the restoration of its West Iwan ended in 2002 with the inauguration of the Mevlevi Museum.
From 2002 to 2008, the Sierra Project Recovery of the Mevlevi Architectural Complex, approved by the Italian Ministry of Productive Activities, involved the training program of the General Directorate of Italian Development Corporation and, in collaboration with the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities, allowed the recovery of the mausoleum of the Sunkur Saadi and the restoration of the Mevlevi convent. Over 500 people took part in it and benefited from the training, updating, and specialization of the worksite school. The exhibition Restoration and Restorers, permanent in Cairo since 2008 and on tour in Egypt and Italy, summarizes the organization of the Sierra Worksite School for the training in the restoration and conservation of cultural heritage. The activities shown document the methodological and operational applied principle, the meaning of the historical recovered values, and the training of the specialists in their chosen sector. Each activity included the use of both traditional and innovative materials and tools for educational expansion. The operational autonomy of the worksite school made it possible to build equipment that was appropriate to the needs that emerged from the study of the monument and to apply specific technical solutions to the intervention, both for restoration and conservation. As a whole, the organization of the Worksite School reflects the historic craft workshop where the technical knowledge is acquired by working on the object to be created. Even though, in restoration, the technical intervention is conditioned by the essential objective of recovery and cultural enhancement of the object.
Training activities have always been complemented by cultural events, exhibitions, conferences, workshops and seminars on religion, art and science. In 2008, once the cultural validity of the activity carried out was acknowledged, the Memorandum of Understanding between Italy and Egypt was signed, conferring the Sierra with permanent School for Restoration and Conservation status, thus confirming the Executive Protocol of 1988 and the function of Cultural Center, as was originally hoped for in 1975. Since 2008, and during the startup procedures of the school project, the Sierra has carried out the technical, training and dissemination activities, agreed upon with the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities and defied by its permanent committee in 2012. National and international cultural events were organized in accordance with the agreements of the Italy-Egypt Memorandum. In 2017, following the signed agreement of the Italian Embassy and the Egyptian Ministry of International Cooperation for the implementation of the Sierra IEDS-3 project as School for Restoration and Conservation, the Sierra held the introductory conference Restoration Educational Paths at the University of Tanta and on the Sierra premises in Cairo with the consent of the Ministry of Antiquities. The continuity of the Sierra Worksite School is entrusted to the Italian and Egyptian institutions in their mutual understanding of Sierra's identity, from the 1988 Protocol to the 2008 Memorandum of Understanding.
Currently, the Sierra is running the executive restoration project of the Yashbak Palace, as requested by the Ministry of Antiquities Permanent Committee.